بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سورة العصر والعصر by the time العصر اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی is taking a note by عصر which is time and time what is time something you cannot hold something you cannot freeze something you cannot stop it's always moving always passing on عصر also refers to the later part of the day, before sunset. Before sunset, the last part of the day, the time of Asr, late evening. As the day is coming to an end, what does that remind you of? What does that make you feel? Another day is over. And this is the reality of life. It's just numbered days. One day goes, and then another day goes, and the sun sets again, and the sun sets again. Wal Asr. When Allah swears by something, it shows us how important that thing is. And if Allah is taking an oath by time, it shows how precious, how valuable time is. What's the conclusion of the oath? إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرِ Indeed, the human being is surely fi khusr. He is in loss. Immersed in loss. Surrounded by loss. fi khusr. And khusrin, this is nakira, shows how immense this loss is. All people are losing. Every second we are losing. What are we losing? Time. And what are we? What are we? If we are alive, that means we have been given some time. So we are surrounded with loss because every moment is a passing moment. And with every moment gone, we have lost a part of ourselves. Inna al-insana lafi khusr. Illa al-ladhina amanu. You see, just like, imagine a hot, hot day when you have a popsicle. Every second it's melting, melting, melting. What does it mean? You have to finish it before it melts away. Right? So we have also been given time. We have to use it before we run out of it. Illa al-ladhina amanu. The only people who were saved from loss are who? Except those who believe. وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ And they do righteous deeds. وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ And they advise each other with the truth. Tawasi is to do wasiya to each other. Important instruction. وَتَوَاصَوْا sabr And they advise each other to patience. So, everyone is in loss. Except for who? Those who use their time. And how is it that a person can use his time? How is it that a person can make his moments count? Make his existence worth something that will bring him eternal benefit. How? Four things. Firstly, iman. Firm iman that is free of doubt. Because when a person lives with iman, then what happens? Even the mundane, even the daily chores, what do they become? An act of worship. Because he's doing it with iman, with belief in Allah. Otherwise a person is in loss. Secondly, righteous action. Amilus salihat. Then a person is not in loss. So that means if we're just sitting idle, we are incurring loss. But if we use those brief moments in doing amal salih, so for example, while we're waiting, five minutes, ten minutes, three minutes, ten seconds, if we use that time for the remembrance of Allah, for doing something good, we have not suffered loss. Instead, we have earned something. So the only way you can save yourself is that you do something good in life. And for that, every moment counts. Thirdly, تَوَاصَوْ بالحق Encourage each other to do what is right. Pick others up when they're falling. When they're wasting their time, tawasli bil haq. When somebody is doing something wrong, warning them, reminding them. When somebody is missing out on what is important, reminding them. Wa tawasli bil sabr, sabr, endurance, to not give up. Encourage others to be consistent. Because when you strengthen someone else, you strengthen yourself. When you advise someone, you help yourself. When you care about others, you care about yourself. Because believers are like a building. A strong building. Each part of it strengthens the other. So if we want to save ourselves, we have to save those who are, who are 
around us. You need 